Denmark, a country mostly known for its picturesque landscapes, statistically having the most happy population in the world, and Lego. But that is not why we are visiting this country this weekend. We are going to watch the football. Over the years, sides like Bromby, Michelin and Copenhagen have had a rich history in European competitions, really showing people that Danish football is levelling up. And this weekend, we are off to Silkborg versus Copenhagen. It's fourth versus second at the time we're recording this, and I absolutely cannot wait. The home side come into this stiff challenge off the back of three back-to-back -back draws in the league, but they do have a strong home record so far, picking up 10 points from their opening five on home turf. The visitors sit second on 20 points, however, unfortunately haven't done quite so well in Europe so far this season. Of course, they lost their opening Europa Conference League tie on home patch 2-1 to a side who, it's fair to say, were not the favourites. But both sides have fantastic sets of fans. The atmosphere is sure to be a cracker and it's a massive, massive game in the context of both team seasons. So, who will come out on top in this massive crunch match? Only time will tell, but let's get on that plane to Denmark and find out.
Captain. Oh, how bad. Time Celta Ball 2, Copenhagen nil. Honestly, this is the best footballing experience I have ever had. I don't think anything will ever top this. The atmosphere is amazing. The people are amazing. The football is amazing. The way in which Celta Ball are playing out from the back with so much confidence and doing it well is amazing. As an English fan, you never see that sort of football played. It is absolutely amazing and I am loving it. Sil Silkeborg well and truly deserve the lead. The two goals, the first goal could have been a foul in the process possibly. The second goal, amazing build up on the counter attack and a really good finish. Listen, I just hope for more of the same in the second half. Silica Border attacking this end, Copenhagen are attacking the, the end that their away fans are at, which of course Copenhagen fans have been incredible, that's expected, you can probably hear them in the background, they're amazing, honestly, both sets of fans, incredible, anyone who's watching this who is Danish, I'm sure there'll be a few, honestly, you guys are an, a level above, amazing, fingers crossed for a good second half, up the Silica Board, let's go second half.
Right then, that is it for today's match of vlog. Thank you very much for watching. What a game. 2-2. Two, two. These Danish games never fail to impress. And the fans never fail to impress. The game deserved a winner. But it ended 2-2. Two, two. Copenhagen did brilliantly to come back in the second half. Played really good football. And they probably deserved to, uh, to equalise. It's just a shame there wasn't a winner at either end from a neutral perspective. But listen, what an experience. We will definitely be back in Denmark in the next year or so. So any Danish people watching, please subscribe because there will be another vlog coming to the channel, possibly Copenhagen again, maybe even Silkborg because this place is amazing. But honestly, what a place. I've loved every minute of being in Denmark. The Danish people are so, so lovely. Honestly, nicest people I've ever met. It, it's amazing. Everyone's so happy, so kind, so sociable. And it's, a, it's been a privilege to be here. So thank you, everyone, for watching. If you did enjoy, please do smash like and subscribe to the channel. We are rapidly approaching 3,000. So if you could help me hit that, it would mean the absolute world. But yeah, have a class rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.